Hi everyone, my name is Luca Angel. Welcome to my new channel. So I am 16 years old from Newcastle and two years ago I had a heart transplant. So I, I was thinking that I wanted to start a channel for other people who are having a heart transplant or know someone who has one or needs one um, because I was looking on YouTube the other day there are basically so many channels for other illnesses and that is awesome but I couldn't find a single one um, about transplants so I thought hey why not step out of my comfort zone and do that so yeah I really just hope that this channel can um, be of help and I want to help give you guys advice um, and tell you a bit of my story and hopefully encourage you. So um, today I'm just basically going to talk about if you have had a transplant or you will need one or know someone who needs one then you will know all the challenges that come with that. So I really want to encourage you and let you know that you're not alone um, and I really hope this channel can help you out. I'm kind of nervous honestly. Um, I'm just filming this from my computer in yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about like halfway through the transplant journey because I actually have a couple of friends who um, are about halfway through and so they may just need some encouragement. So yeah. So basically after the, the actual surgery you're in ICU for a couple of days um, after the heart has actually been transplanted. And once you're out of ICU, it's a really good sign because it means you don't need to be monitored 24-7. Um, after the actual surgery, that's when comes all of physio, all the medications. Today I'm just going to be talking about that kind of thing. Keep in mind that everyone's going to be having a different transplant journey. So obviously this is just going to be from my um, perspective and my, my own kind of journey journey that's that's definitely the word <laughs> um, experience I'm just going to be sharing from my own experiences and if yours is different let's totally fine um, I can actually assure you that yours will probably be different um, anyways so physio physio was quite hard for me um, after such a big surgery you're usually going to have to learn how to walk again um, how to get back to your best level of fitness so my advice my best advice for staying positive when doing physio is to create yourself a couple of goals and slowly start to achieve them so like my first goal was to be able to get out of bed and stand by myself and then my second goal was to walk down the hall holding someone's hand so um, it's just small goals like that that help keep you in the right mindset and make you feel like you're achieving things because you are achieving things and sometimes just having little goals will just help you feel like you are achieving things um, and once you kind of you know get through those little goals you can start thinking bigger like um, I don't know like a month or so after my actual transplant I started thinking about doing cartwheels again so I set myself a goal to do a cartwheel and basically I just started, um, my physiotherapist helped me get to a handstand on the wall and then just half cartwheels on stools um, until I could cartwheel again. So yeah, just setting goals is so important because it helps you persevere and yeah. So next thing is the medications. Now before my transplant I could not swallow a tablet for my life. Um, but, but you know now I can because I I had to and I was thrown into the deep end um, So the best advice I can give you when selling tablets because no one likes to do it is to pretend that they're not there if you're just drinking water and you just pretend that you're literally just drinking water nothing else it they'll just slide down so easily and so you just pretend that they're not there and you're just having a normal cup of water um, and with selling tablets it's odd because no one likes to do it but it's all in their heads because when you eat food you swallow so much more than you would when you're swallowing 15 to 20 tablets. Um, it also might help you to swallow your tablets with a hot drink like tea or hot chocolate because it'll help warm up your throat 
um, and also gives a better flavor than tablets so so if you're an imagin imaginative person you can always pretend that you're doing medication tests to become a superhuman that's always fun or that might just be me that's all I'm going to talk about today but please let me know what else you would like to know or get advice on because I really just want to help you so thank you for watching I hope this helps people <laughs>